What's shaking, everybody? It's your boy, King of the Golden State, coming at you with a haul video fresh from Berkeley Comic Con. We usually have these uh, Comic Cons going on about th three or four times a year, and I love going to them. I love going to their dollar bins and love going through whatever comic booths that have good deals and such. And it's, it's really a good time. Kind of, kind of reminds me of going to something like, uh, like a Frankenstein's convention in Southern California. You know, you, you know, Frankenstein's is every weekend. This is like every couple months so it's pretty cool but yeah uh before i uh move on and show you guys what i picked up from uh the uh berkeley comic con i, I gotta get the particulars out of the way um just to let you know this video is for uh, ages 13 and older also um please be sure to like this video comment down below tell me what you think and subscribe which is the subscribe button down there if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button that'd be great um and yeah let's uh, get started so decided to uh hit the berkeley comic con and went through a bunch of books we found a bunch of dollar bin stuff that you know really doesn't go for a dollar found some some valuable books and some not too valuable books but for a dollar went through and found stuff like this detective comics number 1000 normally a ten dollar book but i found that in, in their uh in the, one of the uh booths dollar bin how to pick it up, especially when it's a Steve Rude cover. Steve Rude is known for doing a Nexus and such. And uh, I couldn't turn that down, especially when it's a $10 comic book, getting it for a dollar. Had to pick it up. And these are just impulse buys for a dollar. Like I picked up the Magdalena. I'm not real familiar with it. All I know is it's a really cool um, Michael Turner cover. Rest in peace. You know? So I just had to pick that up because it's just sitting there and it's a cool looking cover. You couldn't. The thing is, that's not even a variant cover. That's a regular cover. If you want a variant cover, pick this one up. Go to price tag. It's a Uncanny X-Men Special Number One. It's a Mark Brooks variant, and uh, yeah, I got that for a dollar. The guy, the guy at the booth usually stuffs his dollar bins pretty damn well, so I had to go there first. Yeah, you know, I wasn't trying to ignore anybody, but usually his uh, dollar bins are pretty damn dope. So usually when I go into Berkeley Comic Con, I usually Go, make a beeline right to there and see if I can pick out what I can. Found uh, two copies of New Mutants number three. That's a first cameo of the Demon Bear character. And there's, um, I, I guess that character is supposed to show up in the New Mutants movie. So figured it'd be worth picking that up for a dollar, dollar each. Uh, found two copies of uh, Excalibur, uh, the special edition. This one is probably going to be a reader copy in my case because it's got a lot of little issues right here, little little holes, like somebody wants to drag this against concrete or something. But this one is actually in far better shape, and this is the first appearance of uh, Excalibur as as a group. So I thought it might be worth picking up in case there's any more talk about Excalibur, which led me to this. I had to pick that up. I remember back in the day when I started collecting uh, comic books. I would collect one copy of, of, of just about everything. Unless it's like X-Men number one or X-Force. Everybody's picking up multiple copies of that thing. And we're going to be paying off our uh, our college tuition and such. Uh, this one, I, I think it's my third my third or fourth or fifth copy of Excalibur number one. And uh, yeah, I had to pick that up because, you know, I guess there's, you know, for a dollar you know, on top of that. You know, there's also spec talk of uh, further stuff with Excalibur down the line. So... Figure I'd pick that up and get, you know, just hold on to it for the time being. Also, uh, some other dollar book stuff. Found uh, three copies of Morbius number one. Um, not a crazy book that's going that's going wild right now, but it's good for spec purposes. I mean, I know uh, the movie came. Uh, actually, the trailer came out for the movie that's coming out in the summer, so it's good to I guess hold on to this until something or something about the you know Midnight Suns comes about like far as like a hulu thing hulu related actually this is pretty cool to find in a dollar bin i found this in a dollar bin uh conan number 58 um i know i got this i know i got another copy from the bunky brothers who uh who i bought some books from and I, but it was funny finding this in a dollar bin just sitting there i was like ah, i must pick this up it's sitting there it looks like a pretty good reader's copy and it's the first appearance of B belit I think the character is Belit or Beloit. It's a it's a weird pronunciation of the character's name. 
But uh, that was in a dollar bin. That was pretty cool to find. Also found, uh, found a bunch of Spider-Man stuff. Found some Spider-Man. Maybe Spider-Man number one of the volume two run. Um, my second copy. So it was pretty cool to have that. Also found this in dollar bin. Spider-Man versus Wolverine. And it's a, very, it's a really good condition book, actually. It's real thick. I need to read this one. See this one? This is like, I think, my second copy. The other one's kind of like a mess. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to read that story eventually. Picked up an Outcast number one. Couldn't go wrong with just picking up Outcast number one. You know, it's like, you can find more of these in the raw. Or more of them in the wild. You know, out and about. And, uh, I still wonder what happened to the TV show. I mean... Did they cancel it or not? I didn't read up on it. All I know is that the first season was really good. And to see that it's, like, not been around lately, it's kind of kind of sucks, man, because it had a lot of promise. Uh, also picked up, uh, just for the hell of it, I found this in a dollar bin. Uh, you know, DC Comics Presents, uh, Superman and the Flash. That is a Whitman variant. Um, the rule of thumb, really, is when it comes to collecting comic books, you always want to try to go find Whitman variants for anything. You don't have to deliberately go look for them, but if you see one for a dollar, you got to grab it, right? Also, I just randomly grab random stuff, like Too Much Coffee Man number one. Uh, this is not, I don't think this is not the big book or anything like that, because it was like a dollar book, and, you know, I think it's a reprint. I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with Too Much Coffee Man. All I know is that full probably has Too Much Coffee. But, uh... Anyway, right, that's original. Grab this one, like I said, Impulse Buy. Just grabbed it as Marvel Adventure featuring Daredevil. I think I was supposed to be looking for the 35 cent uh, copy of it, or the 35 cent variant, because I think Marvel Adventures featuring Daredevil, the 35 cent variants go for more money than a dollar book like this one. Uh, talk about Beta Ray Bill. You got Beta Ray Bill God Hunter. I only found uh, issue one, which is good. Uh, it's basically, it's just a pretty simple story. Beta Ray Bill is hunting down Galactus. I'm sure that's going to end very well for everybody. I uh, found that in the dollar bin. This was uh, Amazing Adventures, uh, The Inhumans, and The Black Widow. I grabbed that just for the, fit, for the fact that a lot of these Inhumans and Black Widow covers, I think, are usually split down the middle. And it's kind of a weird thing, but I just grabbed it just in case. Um, I think it was number one I was looking for, but I found number three, so I'll... I'm not sure if this number three has any significance or anything like that. Another filler for my Flash run. Uh, Flash number 160. It's got some tape cover to it, but I don't care. It's fine. I mean, I like to try to fill up these these issues of Flash on my run as mostly as fast as I can. So, found that in there. Impulse buy here. Dollar bin. Uh, Thor number 136. Looked like a dog took a bite off this one right here, but it's all right. It's fine. I got to rebag it. And uh, I'll have to go from there. Also found this one. I th this is uh, Mordred the Mystic. It's definitely a... I'm definitely going to say it's a VG. Maybe an F. Probably use a press, but... Uh, there's speculation talk about this possibly being... I think being the villain inside in um, the WandaVision TV show. So people are kind of scooping up copies of Mordred the Mystic. And, uh, yeah, this is like my second copy. Also found this hanging around uh, in the dollar bin was uh, Peter Parker Spider-Man number 76. It's either a first appearance of Hunger or first appearance of Crown. I'm not real familiar with the title. But um, I've had a couple of these copies in my possession for some time when, when there was speculation about it. And it never moved at all. And now this book is like a $12 book now. I can I could probably picture this book probably cooling off by the time the next trailer hits, and that's probably was really gonna go nuts. I mean, that's probably where we'll really have a good idea of um, how the actual villain, you know, found that in the dollar bin. A newsstand copy of uh, X Men 166, first appearance of Lockheed. Also found a uh, Man Thing number one in that pile. First frightful issue. That's a direct copy. Also found a uh, Batgirl special, Mike Manola cover. That was that was pretty cool. That's a good one to hold on to. Check out those thighs. God dang, got thighs for the guys. I'm telling you, thighs for the guys. Found a uh, Excalibur 125. So I found a, a first issue and a final issue. 
That's the uh, final issue of the, of the uh, Volume 1 series. And uh, it's always good to pick up final issues if you can find them. Because usually they're, they, you know, they're, they have value to them. And, and that's based on a scarcity of it. Because the print runs get cut down drastically and it makes them more rare to get. So just a rule of thumb. Also found this in there. This is like my second copy of Batman and Robin, Teen Wonder uh, 237. Um, I don't know the significance of it. I know it's a Neil Adams cover, but uh, it's, uh, you know, I just couldn't turn it down for a dollar. I was like, why the hell not? I could probably sit back and read it. Um, <laughs> like I said, dollar stuff here. Found uh, Death of Superman still in the poly bag. This is pretty cool. This is normally like a $15, $20 dollar book. Found it in the poly bag, you know, still sitting there for a dollar. I wasn't going to turn it away. I mean, like, I'm not even sure how many copies of these I have. Same with this. Inhumans number one. Uh, I think this is my third copy. I thought this book was like a... I, thought, I really thought this book was like a valuable book somewhere down the line, but probably not. It's just like a $10 book at best. Speaking of $10 books, got X-Men Adventures number one. Uh, never really cared much for the TV show because I was more... I was more of a fan of the first um, animated X-Men, Pride of the X-Men, and than the uh, regular animated series that was on Fox. But uh, yeah, I was always a big fan of Pride of the X-Men. I could watch that thing over and over again. The only thing that really annoyed me about X-Men Adventures was um, it's the first appearance of a character called Morph. And that was a character I think they, I think that was a character created, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was a character created by Fox to crowbar into the show and you know, when I watched that, that show when I was a kid, that character was such an annoying character. I was so annoyed by that character. But, yeah, this is like a $15 book or so. So it's pretty cool to just pick that up for a dollar. All right. What else? We're almost done. Uh, I always get excited when I see a first, like a, like a Lady Mechanica number zero. thinking it's the actual first print. And it's actually a fifth print. So that's what I found for a dollar. It's pretty cool. Uh, DC first issue special Manhunter. Uh, not, I don't think it's the first appearance of Manhunter because I believe I have the first appearance of Manhunter right over here, which I also picked up. It's a Detective Comics number 437. Got you know, I got that from the Bunky Brothers booth over in uh, the Berkeley Comic Con. Had it, you know, just had to pick that up. You know, I like picking up random DC, uh, Detective Comics, like early Detective Comics stuff, you know, like. The New 52 and the Rebirth Detective Comics, they're okay. There's not something I'm going to crow about, but, you know, I figured I'd pick that up since it's the first appearance of Manor. So, found this over there as well as uh, Avengers number 133. That's the first appearance, of the first full appearance of the Kotati. I think they're using this for another miniseries or uh, or something from for the Marvel Universe. So, um, I saw two copies there and I picked up two copies i didn't think i was gonna flip them or anything like that but it was just funny though because i picked up two trying to decide like like uh which one to pick up which one was a better copy this one probably gives a press the other one had like ink issue like ink running on it and i put it and i put that one back but it's funny some guy that shot uh, down at the show confronts me and says did you pick up both of those copies i really wanted one of them I'm like no I did not. Matter of fact, I put one back. Okay, well, you know what? I wanted to pick up one of those copies. I'm like, all right, well, take your ass over there then. Shit. It was just one of those things where the guy was just confronting me over a comic book, and, it was just, and I thought it was stupid. But, uh, yeah, I got this one from the Bunky Brothers booth just for the hell of it because, you know, I like buying books from those guys. They're great guys. Um, also, in the dollar bin, going back and forth a little bit, almost forgot, Uncanny X-Men 505. This is like my second copy. But I love that Greg Land cover. And uh, I might save this copy for during the con season if I hear anything about a Greg Land signing to get this particular copy signed. I love that thing for a dollar. Why not? Um, also, uh, hit up another booth. And uh, this one caught my eye. This one isn't really go doesn't go for anything special. It's Doom War number one. It's a uh, Storm variant. And... Uh, and yeah, I just dug it. I thought it was a really cool cover. Um, yeah, it's like a it's like a five six dollar book. You know, more like cover price if you think about it. But yeah, I mean, I just thought it was really cool with the Mohawk and so have you. You know, so nice Women of Marvel variant. Also, uh, 
been looking around for this and I was over at the I was over at Short Boxes booth. Um, didn't really think I'd find it at the Berkeley, Berkeley Comic Con, but it was pretty cool seeing it sitting there, you know, in one of the uh, Short Boxes for Short Boxes booth. So it was pretty cool. Um, Mystic Hands of Doctor Strange, and it's it's a the reason why it's a I guess a tough book to find. It's not too tough, but it's it's a semi like hard to find book because of the print run. Um, it's a Lucio Perillo variant or a Lucio Perillo cover and it reprints, uh, some other, um, black, um, Dr. Strange, uh, issues in there. So found that in there for three bucks. It was, it's pretty cool to have. I just wanted to have it over at the Bunky Brothers booth. I was a little pick up some other stuff. So I picked up, uh, this pretty, this is an enticing variant of darkness, uh, number 25. I don't really collect the darkness. Um, I just like Mark Sylvester's artwork. And this is actually a variant. It's not a high value variant at all. It's more like a cover price variant, but it's really cool looking. I mean, especially, it's kind of, it's kind of a variant that you wouldn't think Sylvester would draw, but I dug it, man. For, for that, I had to grab it. And of course I had to grab this one as well. Uh, Flash number 203. Like I said, I'm still trying to fill up my run. Um, let me see. Yeah, I ran. Let me see. During the time when I was down there, I ran, ran to some uh, Instagrammers, ran to Reggie Collects for a couple minutes. You know, kind of talked a little bit. You know, he's not a bad guy. Pretty cool guy. You know, you know, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to meet people in person and just talk and shoot the crap with them. You know, instead of just talking online or or via text message or Instagram or what have you, it's good to talk to put a face right. In front of you and just talk to that person so you know i was over at the monkey brothers booth and i grabbed like the flash while i was at it 203 trying to fill that run also when i was there i found another book a blizzard spec book uh mega the unknown um number one i think there's spec about this uh having further legs and so forth so figured why the hell not I just pick it up maybe it needs a cleaning and a press but i don't think it's gonna go that far so who knows now, this book, I decided to upgrade from... This is a personal book for me, really. And I decided to upgrade it because... Um, actually, it got water damage and got worse. But this book, uh, I found over the Bunky Brothers for a pretty good price. And I wanted to upgrade it, you know, for my own personal collection. Because this used to be a copy that belonged to my dad's collection. And it meant a lot to me. Because he gave me his, his like, box of comics... You know, when I was a kid, and that's what really got me in the comics to begin with. And to see a better graded copy of it, you know, around was pretty cool. So, not a big book to everybody, but this was a big book to me. And it's uh, Submariner number 19, and it's the first appearance of Stingray. And this was, I used to have this, like, when I was younger. It was a real tattered up copy. It didn't have water damage, like somebody spilled a drink on it. And, uh... Yeah, just to see that sitting around, I just wanted to pick it up. I might pick up random keys of, I might have an idea of just picking up random keys of like Submariner issues, which would include number one. So, you know, that's it. <laughs> that's all I got, guys. Uh, I wanted to give you some backbreaking stuff, but nothing too backbreaking. Uh, I just want to show you what I picked up from the uh, Berkeley Comic Con. I feel like I want to keep saying San Diego Comic Con. I need to go down there at some point. But anyway, I digress. Be sure to like, this video comment down below subscribe if you haven't and if you already have subscribed uh, tell your friends you know uh, tell your friends to uh, check out my videos and also you know tell them to subscribe so that's about it guys I'll talk to you guys later peace